In 1907, 11 physicians and scientists gathered together in Washington, D.C. to found the American Association for Cancer Research, the first organization in the world with a dedicated focus on high-quality, innovative cancer research. Their mission was to further the investigation and spread the knowledge of cancer. Today, this global organization is home to the greatest minds in cancer research. 38,000 members from over 100 countries are dedicated to accelerating progress toward the prevention and cure of cancer through research, education, communication, and collaboration. Well, the AACR is really a catalyst in progress in cancer research. It has become the place where everyone must go to share science, to move their science along, to accelerate their progress. No researcher can do this alone. It really does require collaboration and working together. And uh, the AACR has been at the core of this for a long time. It brings together a wide array of diverse scientists who are conducting the latest and greatest in innovation in cancer research. Later in 1907, the first AACR annual meeting took place at the Loomis Laboratory of the Cornell University School of Medicine in New York City. Throughout the years that followed, the AACR annual meeting has served as the focal point of the cancer research community, covering such breakthrough topics as surgery and radiation in the treatment of cancer, chemotherapeutic agents, immunotherapies, tumor initiation and progression, identification of genetic and epigenetic mutations, drug resistance and toxicity, early detection and cancer interception, as well as the emergence of precision medicine, to name a few. This year's annual meeting attracted nearly 22,000 scientists, clinicians, physician scientists, advocates, and survivors from around the world to Washington to learn about the latest discoveries and practice-changing breakthroughs and to communicate and collaborate with colleagues on an international scale. It's very clear that the annual meeting is the premier cancer research conference in the world. The, their annual meetings which bring together so many people that, that interact and collaborate, I think that's a fantastic stimulus that really AACR has a shift. Basically, every single discovery that has been key in cancer has been either been led by uh, an ACR member or has been presented at the ACR meeting or it has been published at uh, an ACR journal. So it's, it's an intimate story of collaboration between the society and the war against cancer. In the early days of the AACR, the leadership of the association recognized a need to expand the mission to spread the knowledge of cancer by developing a journal that would collect under one cover such contributions that would bear in any way upon the general problems of oncology. In 1916, under the leadership of editor Dr. Richard Weil, the AACR published the first English-language oncology journal, the Journal of Cancer Research, which was later titled the American Journal of Cancer. In 1941, the AACR began publishing its journal under a new title, Cancer Research. Today, the AACR publishes eight top oncology journals covering all aspects of cancer, research, treatment, and prevention. In 2016 alone, AACR journals published over 2,400 peer-reviewed articles, resulting in over 71 million online accesses. AACR also publishes the magazine Cancer Today, the authoritative resource for cancer patients, survivors, and their family members and friends who seek information and inspiration as they or their loved ones face diagnosis, treatment, and life after cancer. Their role is, spans many things, including dissemination of information, development of new information, uh, bringing patients into the process, bringing young investigators into the process. It's broad in its journals, now it has a plethora of journals. Some of them are magazines that cater to the community. Um, and I think that's been slowly, broadly um, uh, disseminated um, to populations and, you know, Perhaps one day, I mean, certainly in the cancer community, ACR is a household name. Perhaps one day in the community, 
the community will say AACR is a household name. There is no comparison with other, any other organization in the biomedical field in terms of the um, uh, meetings that they organize, very sophisticated, very uh, uh, focused meetings where the best minds are there. And so this is a tremendous input for research. Where it's a forum that we all look up to. In 1988, AACR leadership, responding to the needs of an expanding cancer research community, developed the first AACR Special Conference in Cancer Research. That first special conference, titled Gene Regulation and Oncogenes, was held in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and was chaired by Nobel laureate and AACR fellow, Dr. Philip A. Sharp. Today, AACR hosts over 30 national and international scientific meetings, focused conferences, and educational workshops with a combined annual attendance of over 35,000. These mission-driven meetings and workshops push the limits of cutting-edge research, work to improve clinical practice and patient care, and are critically hailed as the crown jewels of the AACR's scientific programs. If you look at what's been accomplished over 110 years, it's been extraordinary. Um, I think the uh, fact that we have more than 30,000 members throughout the world, that the ASCR uh, serves as a mouthpiece for cancer research, it uh, puts on meetings which are really important in uh, illuminating what's going on today. Uh, and I would hope that over the next uh, 100 years that the ASCR uh, can do less and less because we'll become more and more successful uh, in treating cancer. In 1985, the AACR established its first research-based grants to help support meritorious projects conducted by both early career and established scientists. These vital grants have helped advance the science of cancer and have fueled innovation in the cancer research community. In 2008, AACR partnered with Stand Up to Cancer a program of the Entertainment Industry Foundation providing necessary resources to fund translational cancer research and accelerate treatments through team science. AACR continues to serve as the proud scientific partner to SU2C. Today, through a variety of efforts, the AACR serves as a leader in providing scientific expertise in conducting high-quality scientific review of grants applications and scientific oversight of grants. Through the fundraising efforts of the AACR Foundation, support for numerous programs that accelerate progress against cancer is becoming a reality. I think the AACR has understood from its inception that incremental improvements in cancer, our understanding of the biology of cancer, will only translate into incremental improvements in cancer survival. And to really make a difference, we have to understand cancer at the fundamental basic science level. And so AACR has been a prime leader in funding the kind of research that's out of the box and not exactly obvious why we're doing it at the time, but it turns out to be really important big discoveries that translate into a real meaningful difference for patients. Contributions uh, that AACR has made uh, to cancer research over those years are substantial. As a meeting place uh, for people who are involved in cancer research, tens of thousands of them now, as a publisher of journals uh, that are places where people send their best work. Uh, and as a place that funds research and works with other organizations and things like Stand Up to Cancer, those are all ways in which a partnership between AACR and NIH have played out in very positive ways to encourage research to go faster and further. The AACR has been a strong advocate for funding for cancer research at the government level. In 1909, the AACR petitioned President Taft for a cancer research division in the U.S. Bureau of Public Health. In 1937, AACR members were instrumental in the formation of the National Cancer Institute. AACR has been present at such seminal moments as the signing of the National Cancer Act and the March for Cancer Research. AACR also has been a thought leader and leading scientific voice on tobacco control and cancer and the regulation of e-cigarettes. Today, AACR's work with all aspects of the government continues this legacy. From the Cancer Progress Report, Rally for Medical Research, to numerous Hill Days, AACR members advocate for robust, sustained, and predictable annual increases in government funding of medical research.
AACR's contributions in the regulatory science and policy arena have provided key support for the FDA's mission of approving safe and effective treatments for cancer patients. The work you're doing can have a very positive effect on all Americans. And now there's all kinds of new therapies coming out which can be helpful in preventing the spread of cancer. So I'm very proud to stand by your side. You can count on me as an ally and I'll continue to make cancer research a top priority in the United States Senate. ECR has done fabulous things over the year. It has grown tremendously. It is uh, supporting team science research in teams, which I think is absolutely fabulous. It is playing a very important role in educating a new generation of cancer researchers. With the current leadership, um, Dr. Mark Foti, uh, she's done a great job in um, expanding uh, ACR across um, multiple countries, uh, from Africa, um, different parts of Asia, um, and it, it is really, it really attests to her, her vision and her focus for, you know, how we address cancer um, now as well as in the future and, and, and the need for us to really come together as a scientific community. Dr. Fodi, as head of the AACR and the AACR itself have really brought together cancer researchers and forged that alliance and unity that I think has really uh, improved and stimulated uh, further cancer research and development. No other organization in the world has the capacity, the scientific expertise and scope, and the drive to take on and meet that challenge. Therefore, we must continue to push forward with urgency and with the realization that it is the ACR's destiny to be the organization that will fundamentally change the face of cancer. Our vision is to defeat cancer by dramatically reducing cancer diagnoses and deaths while improving the quality of life for all. We will realize our vision by accelerating innovative cancer research, disseminating knowledge, and promoting collaborations. The ACR and its members will fundamentally change the face of cancer by 2025. The AACR, leading discoveries, targeting cures, saving lives.